Hey guys, I sometimes have some very weird dreams, and I'm going to tell you about them. This dream actually happened last night. I had a dream that I was going to Britain with somebody. I can't remember who. I get to England, and for some reason, they send me back. I, I don't know why, but they sent me back. So I go back to the United States, you know, and I get on a different plane to go back to England. Well, this plane, I am actually sitting up front with the pilot, and he's driving the plane through the streets of Tulsa, just kind of in through back alleys. So you have this big monstrous plane being driven down the streets of Tulsa. And he's looking for his co-pilot. He doesn't know where his co-pilot is. And in the plane, there's also one of those controllers for Rock Band, one of those guitar things. So I start playing around with it while we're waiting to find the co-pilot. Well, we find the co-pilot, but we all have to get off the plane at the airport and kind of wait around a bit. And then the airplane gets towed away. And they have to bring us a different plane for some reason. That plane is brought. We all get on the plane and we start taking off. And that's when I woke up. I also had a dream recently where I was at Monica Sellis' house. Just hanging out with Monica Sellis, the tennis star. At one point during the dream, there's this like little mannequin type thing but it's made of just wood with just a head on it so it's just a cross but with a head on it and she gets mad at something so she starts yelling at and beating up this mannequin thing and then she goes aha and feels a lot better and the thing that's interesting about this house was it was a small house on a corner lot that's all I remember of that dream. Sometimes I have YouTubers in my dreams. This one dream, I actually had a YouTuber's dog. I had a dream that I was supposed to babysit Chewy, Megan Camarena's dog. So I take Chewy and we're walking around and all of a sudden we see this Metallica concert out in the open air in like a parking lot. So I go to the, as far up to the front as I can to the show, but I, I'm like, the only way I can see it is from the side. And I decide that's not a very good view. Then Chewie and I get into this car, which was driven in front of the crowd I think I was thinking that I could get a better seat if I got into this car. However, the car didn't go to a better place. It went completely out of the parking lot, completely out of earshot of the concert, and just parked. And that's when I woke up. I had a dream where I actually met a YouTuber by the name of Brookers. You may remember her from way back a long time ago. I had a dream where I met her in the lobby of a hotel. I told her I was going to art school to try to impress her. So she starts introducing me to other people and telling everybody that I was going to art school. Oh, by the way, I still had all my baggage with me at this hotel lobby and I hadn't checked in yet. Well, I decided to lay down and take a nap in the middle of the lobby on a couch there. And I had a dream within a dream. In this dream, there was a six woman tag team match. It was, it was Brookers, Tessa Violet, and Megan Camarena against all three of the Zariac sisters. In the match, Brookers actually was the one that got the pin. And that's basically when I woke up. I woke up 
from the dream within a dream, I was in the hotel lobby and then I woke up in real life. I also had a dream that the Subbox Tour came to Tulsa. Remember the Subbox Tour with Tessa Violet and Jason Monday and Alex Carpenter and Mitchell Davis? I had a dream that actually came to Tulsa. However, there were different people in the tour this time. It was actually held in a casino. This time on the tour, it was Mike Falzone, Alex Carpenter, Jason Monday, Megan Camarena, Tessa Violet, and that's all I remember being on the tour. A guy by the name of Austin Dillon was supposed to open up the show and be the MC. Which is weird because he's a race car driver whom I'm not really a fan of. At some point in this dream, I actually came across Mike Falzone, but he was in a disguise. But I knew it was him, so I basically followed him. I actually saw everybody on the tour, and I tried to talk to everybody, but the only person that talked to me was actually Megan Camarena, and all she said was hi. We started in a casino, but we ended up in a sort of a resort-type area. And then we ended up in an ice rink, and this is where the show was held, in an ice rink. And for some reason, I had to wear swim trunks to see the show. And I didn't have any, so I had to go buy some. And this is where I woke up. I also recently had a dream where I went to prison. I don't remember why I went to prison, but for some reason I was sent to prison. I go to prison... And there's an Applebee's in the prison. And we're allowed to have cars and drive around and stuff. We just, we're just stuck in this big, huge prison. And I'm having dinner with actually one of the former employees of, of where I work. And he says, you know, seeing that you've gone through bankruptcy and you don't any, owe anybody any money, you can actually do like a commercial and get out of prison. They called it an immunity commercial. And this guy said I should get a lawyer. So later on, I'm going through a, for a drive in this prison, and this lawyer actually calls me. So I pull over and, and start talking to him. And he says that he can arrange that this commercial can be done for free, and that he just needs to call the commercial people while he... While he's on the line with me, he starts call, calling the commercial people. And he doesn't get an answer from the service. And that's when I woke up. So those are some of the strange dreams I've had. What are some of the weird dreams you've had? Leave a comment below. See you later. Bye. Akalos being a god, you would have thought he would have had a really good chance of doing this. Until Heracles came along.